Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and we'll see in this video les expressions and we'll discover more precisely one French expression in this video and this expression is right here être chargé de faire quelque chose. Okay, so être chargé de faire quelque chose and you can find the translation in English right here. Okay, so être chargé de faire quelque chose. Um, so I thought it might be interesting. Normally I give you only one example and in this case I will actually give you two examples. The first one is je suis chargé de faire le ménage. Okay, so it's actually quite simple. We just, you know, respect what we had here as an example. Être chargé de faire quelque chose. So, quelque chose, something. In this case, we only change it with le ménage, the cleaning. To do the cleaning, je suis chargé de faire le ménage. Okay, but then in a second example, you can see, je suis chargé de faire respecter la loi. Well, actually, it does mean that it will be possible to put a verb right here as well okay so you 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 can put a verb it's not only one substantive that you get to put right after this faire but then it's possible in some cases like here to put a verb respecter la loi okay je suis chargé de faire respecter la loi so let's see how you will conjugate this expression so for instance if you want to put that at the present tense, au présent, je suis chargé de faire, okay, so clearly it's quite simple, you only need to conjugate this first part here, so the verb être, and you put that at the present, je suis. If you want to put that at the near future, so this futur proche, so you only need to change this part here, remember, you first put aller, to go, so, because it's like, I am going to, you are going to, okay? So, tu vas être, and then chargé de faire. If you want to put that at the futur simple form, then for il, masculin, and then elle, féminin. So, you only need to do as we saw previously. You only need to conjugate this être here, and you put that at the futur simple form. Keep in mind, and that's the reason why I did put that in black here just to notice that if you put that at the feminine form l then you will have to add this e uh, at the end of charge okay so it will be the feminine form you don't pronounce it because phonetically it doesn't exist but you need to write it okay il elle sera chargé de faire so let's see now when we've got so the imparfait form for Nous, and so now we are in the plural, so nous, oui. And then, of course, as we saw previously, you just need to put être here at the imparfait form. But keep in mind that because you've got the plural form, you will have to add this final S at the end of chargé. Okay? Same thing as we had previously. Phonetically, it doesn't exist, so basically you don't pronounce it, but you've got to write it. Okay? And then after that, for the plus que parfait form, it will be exactly the same, so you only need to modify this être here, put that at the plus que parfait form, vous aviez été, and keep in mind that you should put this final s because it's the plural form. And for the conditionnel present here, for instance, il at the plural and then elle at the plural, you put the verb here, serait, at the conditionnel present, okay, and then if it's the feminine, so for L, you will have to put this E and then this S at the end for both of them because it's for the plural. In both cases, you don't pronounce E and you don't pronounce S. So it will go like chargé, okay, for all the versions. So, il, elle serait chargé de faire. Okay, I hope it was clear for you. Have a great day. Au revoir et à bientôt.